Hey everybody, this is John Ziemba, and what I'm going to show you today is how to add both the testimonial capture widget and then the testimonial list to your website. Now I've recorded part two to this already, so I'm actually kind of doing this backwards. I recorded part two before I recorded part one because I wanted to explain. Here is what you're going to end up doing. You're going to get a testimonial capture page on your website, and then what will happen is people can put their testimonials here, and then you'll have a testimonial review page. And this will show the testimonials that have uh, been left on your page. So I'm going to start from scratch. I'm actually going to go into command and delete both of these now. Keep in mind this is a demo account. And if you already have testimonials on here, you won't need to do uh, these steps here. So we're going to, again, we're starting from scratch. And we're going to do two different uh, things are the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the testimonial capture page in order to do that all we need to do is click on create a new site and then we're, because this is going to be on our agent site we're going to use the option on my agent site and then click create a page now on the right hand side we have the testimonial capture form all we need to do is we need to click and drag that right over to the center after we do that, we want to make sure that we name this page. I'm just, and this is for our use only. This is called a testimonial capture. Once we've added it there, we can simply click on configure widgets, and that will allow us to edit it. Now, occasionally, some people will see something like this because they click back on here. If you get this, this widget cannot be configured. Simply click on this arrow up here. And then you'll get back to the testimonial capture uh, ability to, to uh, that widget. So we'll click on testimonial capture. Now what I would do is I would put your name or your team name here for this, the headline. And I'm just going to put leave us a review. Okay. And I don't necessarily need, I think these are, are, are uh, good enough placeholders. I'm just going to hit save. And now it's going to do that. I'm going to make sure I, when I click save and apply down here, that I also click save changes at the top as well. Okay. So I'm going to click save changes and then click yes. And that's actually going to create the page. When I get done with that, now I need to do, because it says it's not an active page, I need to actually set a URL for it. So I will go to site and app settings now. And then I go, I'll go over to the right side in the top right hand area. And I will click on the site pages option. Once I click on site pages, I will have the option here to add the page at the bottom. I'm going to click on add a page. And you'll notice because I uh, labeled it properly, it's easy for me to find. I will then click uh, add. So what I did is all I do is click add page, and then I chose the page and I click continue. So right now, it says new page. So I'm actually going to call this leave a review for, you know, for, in this case, it's going to be the demo account. Okay, and then I'm going to call the slug is going to be reviews. Okay, and I'm going to say leave a review for your name, right? That would, this would be replaced by your name. And I'm just going to click on save page changes. Now I'm going to walk through this process again, and now I'm going to do this for the testimonial list so all i need to do is i want to make sure again i click save in the left hand bottom left hand corner i'm just going to come back and click on agent site pages and i'm going to click on create a new site in the top right hand corner when i click on create a new site again i'm going to click on my agent site and then click create page once i've done this and i've created the page now what we're going to do is we're making a testimonial list page so again, all we need to do is we need to click on and drag it over. And I'm going to call this testimonial list.
and then we'll do the same procedure where we'll click on configure widgets and it'll give the opportunity to click on testimonial list here. I'm going to put from our clients intro text please leave please check out the reviews that our clients have left right and you can customize this as much as you want what you'll notice is that I have two here um, I have in the next video we'll show you how to how to get these and activate these in this case I'm just going to click save and apply once I click save and apply at the bottom, don't forget, we want to click save and apply at the bottom and then click save changes at the top. Okay. Now it's taking us back just to our home page here. We're going to click on site and app settings again because we realize that this is not like this page is live. This one is not live and we're going to click on site and app settings. Then we'll click on the right hand side. We're going to click on site pages. And now we're going to add a page. And I'm just going, because this is the testimonial list that we label, it's very easy for us to find. I click on testimonial list. So I'm just going to call this testimonials. And I can just do that for the slug. Now, if you see, sometimes you have to not capitalize letters and you can't have a space at the end of it. Read what people have said about working with your right and i'm just going to click save again we're going to click save page changes in the bottom left hand corner and now this is going to activate this sometimes it takes a few minutes for this to show up okay if i need to edit any of these pages the where i need to go to edit is I need to click on the KW in the top left hand corner and then click on designs. And then once I click on, for example, the testimonial capture here, all I need to do is click inside the blue section here. This will allow me to edit this. And what if I edit this and then I click, let me just hit configure widgets. Again, I'm just going to edit this. I'm going to say leave us a review. I could say leave us a five star review. I hit save and apply. Now, again, I want to make sure I click save and apply over here and then save changes up here. I'm going to click yes. And one thing we'll notice is when we're brought back to this page is that we will have this no view available. Even though we'll have one testimonial capture page up here, we'll have another testimonial capture page here. Mind you that this one has been updated. So all you need to do is if you see them, see two pages with the same name, all you have to do is come over here and click on delete. And that will delete the page from here. You only need to edit the original. That's why it's important that you name it so it's easy to find. Now if I go back to the website here and I'm just going to hit the refresh option here, what you should see now as you have let, leave a review for demo and the testimonials and these are the two pages that we just set up so that is how you set up the testimonials for your website